odds is the probability of an event occurring is defined as the probability of the event occurring as the percentage of the probability of the event not occurring. As a result, odds is equal to A over B. If A is the probability of the subjects affected and B is the probability of subjects not affected, so we can say odd is equal to A over B. A is yung mangyayari. And B is yung hindi mangyayari o hindi maapektuhan. So is the, this is the formula. Odds is equal to the P, probability of success. B, P, probability of success. Odds is equal to P over 1 minus P. Sample. What are the odds of pulling a hard card out? So, solution. Odds, height. 0 0.25 over 1 minus 0 0.25. So, we use the formula. The formula is odds is equal to P over 1 minus P. So, yung P is yung 0, point, 0 0.25. So, to. Next is odds is equal to 0 0.25. Then, 1 minus 0 0.25 is equal to 0 0.75. Then, let's divide 0 0.25 over 0 0.75 is equal to 1 over 3 or 0 0.333. Therefore, the odds in favor of pulling a heart out of the heart is 1 is to 3 or 1 over 3. Next is the odds ratio. Odds ratio is the odds of an occurrence in one's population, such as those that, that have been subjected to a substance, are separated by the odds of another group that has not been exposed. To some extent, odds ratios often exaggerated the through relative risk. So, we will say that odds ratio is yung may posibilidad na isang mangyari sa isang populasyon. Tulad ng mga napapailalim sa isang sangkap, ay eh pinaghihiwalay ng mga posibilidad na ibang pangkat na hindi na pa nakalantad or naka-exposed. So, hindi sila apektado. So, eh. It's simply as the ratio of two odds. It's also called relative odds. Odds ratio usually used in case control. So, karamihan na ginagamit ang odds ratio ay sa case control studies. The odds ratio is a metric of the relationship between exposure and a specific outcome. The odds ratio compares the probability of an outcome occurring in the absence of the specific exposure to the odds of that outcome occurring in the presence of that exposure. The higher the odds ratio, the more likely the incident would occur as a result of exposure when the odds is less than 1. It means the occurrence has a low probability of occurring with exposure. So, ibig sabihin, kung mas mataas yung odds ratio, may nangangahulugan na malaki ang, posi malaki ang posibilid na maganap ang isang, isang insidente. Then, kung less than one naman, ibig sabihin, mababa lang yung exposure or yung apektado sa isang object. So, formula, odds ratio, odds of the event in the exposed group, odds over odds of the events in the non-exposed group. So, if the data is a two table, then the odds ratio is A over B over C over D is equal to A D over B C. So, this is the sample. 
One day in the school canteen, there were students drink in the drinking fountain. Seventy-seven students have a cholera, and two hundred twenty-six students without cholera. But in the investigation, forty-nine students have cholera. Drunk in the drinking fountain, and ninety-one students without cholera. So para para madali nating masol, magawa tayo ng table. So sabi sa problem, seventy-seven students have cholera. So seventy-seven. Seventy-seven is the total. May cholera. Then, forty-five students have cholera drunk in the drinking fountain. So ibig sabihin na. 49 students yung may cholera na uminom sa pounting and then 91 students that without cholera sabihin 91 uminom dun sa fount, drinking fountain na walang cholera then and 226 without cholera stay ang ta- ang total nito is 226 yung walang cholera. So, ibig sabihin, para mahanap natin yung hindi uminom doon sa pang sa pangtain, 226 over 91 is equal to 135. Then, ito naman, 77 or total of students na may cholera. Then, 77 minus 49. 9 is equal to 28. So, let's proceed. So, sabi dito sa formula, if the theta is 2 table, then the ratio is, ito ang gagamitin natin na formula para dito. So, A, ah, before that, para hindi kayo maluto, dito yung A, Then, dito yung B, C, and D. So, let's... Isasubstitute lang natin. Yung A is 49, and yung B is 91. C is 28, and D is 135. So, sabi dito, A over B over C over D is equal to A times D over B. C. So, lalagay natin. 49 times 135 over 91 times 28. So, the answer is 6,615 over 2,548 is equal to 135 over 52 is equal to 2.596. So, ito yung... This is the odds ratio. Next, a proficiency examination for a certain skill was given to 230 employees of a firm. 95 of the employees were male, and 135 of the employees passed the examination. In that they scored above a precinct level for satisfactory performance, the breakdown among males and females was as follows. Ang table, sabi doon, 95 of the employees were male. 95. And then, 135 of the employees passed the examination. 135 passed the examination. Ninety-five of them first were male, so di to dapat ninety-five to. And two hundred thirty of them first. So para makuha natin one hundred thirty-five.
proceed to the no I example suppose employees randomly selected from the 230 who took the examination a find the probability that the employee passed given that he was a male so ito next a pass in male so yung pumasa na lalaki is 58 over the all male 95 then 58 over 95 is equal to 0 0.6105 then letter B find the probability that the employee was male given that the employee passed male na pumasa is 58 all male na pumasa all male na pumasa is 135 so 58 over 135 is equal to 0 0.4296 So that's all. Thank you.